Hey, what is up? It's Emily and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I need to find a better intro. That one's just like lacking a little bit of flavor, but that's okay. I'm super excited that you're here. Today we're going to be talking about what to say when the recruiter asks, so what are your salary expectations? We're gonna make it short, sweet, to the point, and hopefully help you get that coin. But before I go and start like divulging all the industry secrets, can you please take a second and give this video a like and subscribe to this channel? It honestly means so, so much, helps push me out into the algorithm and will hopefully help a job seeker on their journey. There are two reasons a recruiter is going to ask you, what are your salary expectations in an interview? The first is that they're really well-intentioned. They're asking because they want to make sure they're aligning you to a job that's actually going to be within the range you're looking for. The second is so that they can con you into paying you less. And as much as I'd like to tell you to trust the recruiter, uh, not every recruiter always has the best intentions or at least not your best intentions at heart. So let's do something that's gonna make this safe, easy and replicable across your job search. Option number one, you can play it back on them. Hit them with the Uno reverse. So when they say, what are your salary expectations? You can say, honestly, I'd love to hear a little bit more about what the range looks like for this role, just so I can make sure I'm providing you with the most accurate information. If they're not willing to give you that, sometimes it's because they haven't figured it out, but oftentimes it's because, again, they're trying to lowball you or maybe not give you the offer that you deserve. Might be a red flag, it might not, but it could be. The recruiter could also come back with a transparent range that really helps you answer what you're looking for. That's great news, green flag, love this company for you. Option two, you can do a little bit of market research and provide a specific number if that's actually the number you're looking for. In my opinion, the best way to do this is go on websites like Glassdoor and Payscale, type in the information for the job you're looking for in the specific location that you're looking for and provide a range based on that. So you might say something like, based on my research and my current compensation, I'm expecting to make between X and Y. And that's a really great way to answer that question too. The only risk with answering a question like that is what if that data is inaccurate? And I'm not saying it is because most times it's pretty on point, but imagine you give them a number that's way lower than what they expected and now they think they can pay you less. Or what if you give them a number that's way higher and now they don't move forward with you because they think they can't afford you when that might not be true. So this one is a little bit more risky unless you're pretty darn confident about the information you have online. I oftentimes hear candidates say that they would prefer to go through the entire interview process before before they share their compensation expectations without even having information about what the company's range looks like. And in my opinion, this could be a huge waste of your time. Think about it. What if you go through a five or six or even seven step interview process, you get an offer and the offer is half of what you're currently making, or it's not even close to what you want. It's in your best interest as a candidate to understand what the compensation expectations look like and what the range is that they can offer. So what are some red flags you need to look out for when dealing with recruiters and talking about money? Number one, if the recruiter is not comfortable sharing their compensation range or even a ballpark zone, for example, they might say the high 100,000 range or the low 60,000 range, that's acceptable. Clearly they know a little bit about what they're talking about or the general range that you're looking at. What's sketchy is when a recruiter says, we don't really disclose our compensation. Why? Is it because the compensation is crap? I also want to call out recruiters that make you feel awkward for asking about compensation or even just having the discussion in early stages of the interview. Whack. That's a little sketchy. Why would the recruiter want to waste your time or frankly, even their time if you two are clearly misaligned on the dollars and the cents? Make it make sense. I firmly believe if a company or a recruiter is acting weird about money, big red flag. You want to make sure there's transparency there from the jump. Imagine what promotions would look like at that company if they're not even willing to talk about what your offer would look like if you worked there. It's bad news across the board. My biggest piece of advice when it comes to advocating for your compensation is number one, do a little bit of research, understand what your true market value is and believe it. Believe that's your market value. Don't think that if you see a number that seems high that you need to lowball it a little bit because you don't want to come across as greedy. Be greedy. Let me ask you something. Like let's let's just think about this for a second. If money didn't matter, would you be working full time? Probably not. Money matters. That is why this whole thing exists. That is why there are jobs and recruiters and all of this. If money didn't matter, we wouldn't be working. 
It's okay for money to matter. It's okay for you to know your worth and it's more than okay for you to advocate for that. If you enjoyed this video, please, please, please hit that like button. Don't forget to leave me a little comment. Don't be scared to ask questions. That's totally what I'm here for. I hope it helped. Have a fantastic day. And if you have any like intro ideas, can you let me know? Cause I recognize my intro kind of sucks. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a good one.